I was fucking prom queen. I shouldn't have to do this bullshit. I just want a side boob and go to Coachella. I do not want to maintenance today. Hi, I'm Montana Dana and I'm traveling full time in my boho chic she shed. Today is a travel day in van life and I do some maintenance on my rig before I head from Quartzsite, Arizona up to Lake Havasu. Good morning, friends. Well, this is what I woke up to 90 times last night. It is two o'clock in the goddamn morning. Please let a bitch sleep. Did Winona let a bitch sleep? No, no, she did not. This is not pleasant to fall asleep to. <laughs> I can't sleep, it's so loud. Winona, we can watch the Arizona sunset tomorrow evening. Like, fuck off, I'm trying to sleep. Winona. We can go camping next weekend, but I need to sleep. I have a long day tomorrow. It's my big edit day, you know this. I have lessons. I need to be fresh and ready to go in the morning. I'm gonna get earplugs. This is ridiculous. All night long. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom on my ceiling. All night. When Ona be shaking my rig, she be pounding on the ceiling and she be being a windy bitch again. Oh my god. My hot pad died last night, so I had to bundle up extra. My freaking phone won't charge because both my jackeries died. Yeah, I need to find a Starbucks, so I don't have internet. And Winona's being a windy bitch again. Like, all night, all night. It's rocking, the pounding. I was up like every half hour. Sucked. This is a vibe though. I like this. This is a good look. And now for our morning ritual. The door reveal. Ew. Someone's dirty toilet paper. It's so beautiful. Ew. That is absolutely used. Please go away. You are not invited to this party. Ah! No! Why is there a piece of dirty toilet paper doing break dancing outside of my vehicle? It's too early for this shit, man. Oh, I'm gonna get out my damn door. Ooh, I would just drive away, but I have to fasten down a bunch of new crystals I bought. All right, what's the damage? Yeah, that's right. Keep on walking, keep on walking. That is so disgusting. Their dirty toilet paper all the way over here to my campsite. Can we not with the damn wind? It's starting our day today. Another beautiful day in paradise. Must find a coffee shop. I said scoot. Keep on walking. We don't take kindly to you around these parks. My oh, me oh my. I was just trying to walk from one end of my place to the other and I keep tripping. I'm definitely parked on a slant. I can tell when this thing is hanging crooked, but also these books usually just stay up by themselves. No, nope, they're not doing that today. Okay, it's time to go. I'm gonna tidy up a little bit. Put this bitch in drive mode. Put you on the floor because you always fall off the shelf anyway. There you go. Oh, no, there's no room for you right now. Probably forget about you and you'll probably crush my internet put this away <laughs> i'm excited to have like a base camp for a couple weeks where i can just stay parked stay in parked mode and then drive my suburban into town if i run out of jackery or if i need coffee or whatever the case may be i do know i have friends waiting for me in uh lake havasu area so let's go let's go meet some people Okay, it's time to put L brackets on this thing. It's quite a bumpy road getting to this parking spot. I'm gonna be fully transparent with you. This next set of footage is a week and a half after what you're watching, but I didn't vlog that much this day because I was a cranky bitch and I drove all day. So here is some extra fun footage Holy for y'all. Holy fuck. Well, I drilled those in. It's close enough to the back, but now this doesn't fit in there. I think maybe because this happened, that's probably why. We need to undrill and scooch that way. I really, really need to get some editing done today. <gasps> I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. 
I'm gonna just shove it over and it's magically gonna go into its holes. That's what she said. No, you don't wanna go in. Oh, Chris. You don't wanna go in, okay, I, I get it. There, there, darling. Where are the holes? Please send help. It always works if I push it with my feet, but I literally can't get my feet in there. Come on. No? I can't vlog this. I need two hands. Bye. Current situation. They're all out of their places. Take, take out the heavy stuff. Mmm. Can't wait to clean this up later. Yay. If you don't see a video in the next nine days, it's because I had a mental meltdown. <laughs> This would be fine if I didn't have like nine hours of editing to do today. It'd be totally fine. No biggie. We just fix it and go on with our merry day. <sighs> Escape room van life commence. Yes, 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 we got the top. Could it be? Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> I have to talk dirty to it. it, helps. Go in. I'm too blonde for this, I cannot. You will go in and you will like it. Well, at least I found all the garbage. It's cum accumulating back here. We could go ahead and get that out. Silver lining. This one is in its hole. This one's in its hole. It's this guy. Damn it, Devin. You're always out to lunch when everybody's in here working. What the fuck? You can have your leftover Buca de Beppo tomorrow. Get in your fucking hall. We're going insane. I am woman, hear me roar. I can do this. Stefani, can you fix the bureau, please? I've got shit to do. This has to go in. It can and it will, but why won't it? Is it you? Oh, oh. Yes? Maybe? Anybody? Help? Oh! You're in your hole. I know you are. Fuck are we stuck on, people? Ugh. Hey James, can you finish that quick TikTok edit real quick? The people want to know what an almost 40 something does while she lives in her van all day. It's really important stuff. I don't know why it's not going in. I'm pushing. It's lining up. Are we good? Are we healthy? Are we eating our vegetables? Okay, falling off the countertop. Oh my good fucking Christ. That hurts my fingies. Oh, it's pinched. Oh. God damn it. Uh. <laughs> fucking help me, Lord. Drive it off a fucking cliff. I don't care anymore. We are gonna L bracket the fuck out of this. Yes, we certainly are. I just wanna put in my hair extensions and feel like a woman. But I have to drill in fucking L brackets at 8 a.m. on a Monday. I believe in us. Can someone mansplain? Oh, oh yes. I need an L bracket. Stay up. I just want a side boob and go to Coachella. I do not want to maintenance today. That's so much to goddamn ask. <gasps> Are you being kidding me? Oh, oh, hell no. Nah. Hell to the, no, you did not just do that. I wanna die. I want to die. By the way, it's like four days later and I'm editing this and I've had this huge bruise on my wrist and I didn't know why. <laughs> it's been like a bubble. Oh, I remember. I was fucking prom queen. I shouldn't have to do this bullshit. It is kind of funny that a prom queen is almost 40 and living in a vehicle though. That's kind of hilarious. Am I just telling you that? Cause I want you all to know that I was prom queen. Yes. Yes, I would. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, now we can put it back in its place. Four hours later. I am fiercely independent, not because I want to be, but because my elders have failed me. Okay. All right. So now I'm gonna check and make sure this fits back there before I 
drill in these little babies. Oh, cute. That that goes there. Sorry, sir. Sorry for the racket, sir. I am blonde and I am a recovering prom queen and I'm trying to do better in life. Sorry about it. Why? Why did it fit before, but now it's not fitting? Is everything okay over here, folks? Oh, cause I'm an idiot is why. It goes sideways, not the other way. Cute. Okay, it fits. It fit that whole time. You mean to tell me it fit before we pulled it over and broke that side of it? Oh, okay, cool. So we didn't have to do any of that. That's great. Sorry, Disney princess journals. You are not invited to the struggle bus party right now. We are doing man things. My mechanic, Craig, is taking a leave of absence. His wife just had a baby, so he thinks that entitles him to time off. Fucking Craig. Okay, it fits. That's what she said. I cannot take credit for the that's what she said joke. It's one of you. Let yourself be known. I'm taking it. I was prom queen. I can do what I want. Hope you guys know I'm kidding. I was like least likely to be prom queen. I was such a dork growing up. I was just nice to people. So when it came to voting, they're like, oh, Dana, she's always let us sit at her table. Four more screws and then I'm pregnant. I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm really in a mood today. I've got a lot of nervous energy because I'm overcommitted and every second of every day is accounted for. So when I have stuff that isn't accounted for, it's stressy. Stressy Dana has arrived. All packed up, ready to go. Charging the Jackeries in the coffee shop. I have a bunch of garbage to dump, a bunch of cups to clean. Just another fun day in van life. Who needs a travel husband when you have your travel garbage with you? That's what I always say. <laughs> There are so many secrets within these bags. So many, so many dark secrets. I'm driving to Parker, Arizona because there's Starbucks. I love to support local coffee shops. I'm all about that. I'm wearing my backpack. I don't have a place for it. That's why I'm sitting for it. Yeah, I want to support local coffee shops, but nine out of 10 times when I try a local coffee shop, their internet is like snails. Snails slow or isn't working or they close at 3 p.m. and then I have to move to a Starbucks anyway. Yes, I would rather support a local community company. Absolutely. But get on your internet game and stay open past 3 p.m. That's that. You just have to. Plus they charge like $8 for a pour over. So sometimes Starbucks is just what I gotta do. Like I've already spent an hour and a half this morning just getting on the road. I have a lot of work to do today. Do I want to go into a coffee shop, bring in my jackeries, bring in my computers, get set up uh, to find out that the internet isn't working? No, I do not. Absolutely do not want to do that this morning. Thank you for asking them. Are my brakes working? I don't need these BLM roads to be paved or anything, but it's like they try to make them difficult to drive on. <laughs> coffee shop days. See you in Parker, Arizona. Maybe today, maybe Head east on Dome Rock Road West. Don't really know. Continue Come on, Toads! We're going to support the man. <laughs> All these pretty purple flowers on the side of the road. Girl, you look cute. Oh my God, there's a big patch of them. Um, a big patch of purple flowers. Did you see it? <laughs> okay, I need to drive. This is not safe. I just realized that the Starbucks is one of those grocery store Starbucks. So I am going to a local coffee shop after all and they close at 2 p.m. And I don't know how much charge I'm going to get in that time, but oh well, it's gonna be something. And it's rainy today, so there will be no solar charging action. But you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. Your destination will be on the right. Oh yay. Well, there are not a whole lot of parking options. For here, do we park over there? The abandoned parking lot? Okay. Do I want to leave all of my valuables in this abandoned parking lot? That is the question. I'm just afraid if I go in there, I'll never be getting out. Hi, doggy. Hi, puppy doo. Um, what's our plan of attack? Okay. Interesting. Well, due to the lack of parking, I'm gonna keep driving to Lake Havasu because they have they have four Starbucks options there and I'll be able to charge my Jackeries. It'll take me an hour to get there, but they'll be open later, so. Welcome to another van life escape room. Will she make it? I don't know. Also, I don't think my brakes are connected. 
so I was trying to stop and it just felt very heavy. I put on my signal and it seemed like the people behind me didn't know I was trying to turn. Coffee Express looks like I have good coffee. I, I got a gas station coffee this morning and once my coffee gets cold, I just lose interest in it. I'm kind of like my relationships. Okay. Is my left blinker on? All right, blinker's working. Okay, that's something. Why do I feel like I have no brakes? I'm gonna hop, skip, and jump across the street and grab a coffee, and then we'll be on our merry little way. Actually, just kidding, I'm driving to a Starbucks. I'll wait to get my coffee. If you're following the six week challenge, it's week one, day three. And today I got all my goals in except for flying my drone. I was driving most of the day, but I did end up getting a workout in at Planet Fitness when I got to my destination. But today is abs and arms, but I'm switching it for Thursday's workout just because I felt like moving my legs. I've been sitting a lot driving. Tomorrow is a cardio workout. So I'm just gonna swap my program and I'll do my arms and abs tomorrow. There's nothing I wanted to do less than going to the gym tonight. It actually kind of helps that I'm traveling and every time I want to shower, I have to go to the gym. So I might as well Workout. So got in a 30 minute stair climber workout and I follow along stair climber workouts. If you want to try them, they're kick ass. Check out my channel Fit Babe Daily. They are on there. Then I finally found a Starbucks I could sit in and charge up my Jackeries and get my edit done for the day. All right, so I'm meeting. You have arrived. Thank you, Siri. So I'm meeting Liz here. I'm looking for lights. Uh, my brake thing isn't working, so I just took it out. So we don't have brakes in the trailer. That's cute. He's right there. Oh, oh, that's a big dip. Drive into the big dipper over here. You'll be seeing stars if you know what I mean. Is that him? I thought he was in a bus. Just checking what's behind me because <gasps> I'm trying to back this up because I was supposed to turn right apparently. We're trying. Okay, Toad. I don't want to go into the ditch though. I don't want to, Daddy. I need the Suburban to go the other way but to get Toad to go the way Toad needs to go. I hate backing up a trailer. It is one of the many banes of my existence. All right, well, we're trying. We're trying. At least I have four wheel drive, right? I made a joke. I didn't even know I made a joke. I was like, this is intense. And Liz was like, well, we are camping. Get it, intense? I'm seriously wedged. We're having a full Austin Powers. We'll just go up this mountain for just a sec. All right, well, I flipped a beach and now I'm supposed to go up to where it says private road. Is that what that says? I see Brian, it's was a bus. So I met Brian at Thanksgiving in Joshua Tree. <gasps> Yay. Oh, I see, she said there were some rocks that might be difficult to get into. Is that? The Brian with was a bus. How's it going? How are you? Thank you so much yeah. for helping me. Yeah. So I'm I'm getting yeah. through those. Kids. So you're just gonna go, just go left Big and go loop. really as wide as okay. you can go. Cool. My God, this is gonna be so beautiful in the morning. I have friends, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, I got this. I got this. I just did a U-turn in the RV forest. <laughs> it was like smushy in the bush. Oh yeah, we got it. Woohoo! Thank you, Wasabus. I have a really cool drone shot of Wasabus. Just took the best shower of my life. <laughs> I feel so brand new. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me. Good to see you, dude. I can see the outline of the mountains, dudes. This is gonna look cool in the morning. Okay, I'll see you when I wake up. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you made it this far, write prom queen down in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends. See you tomorrow.